Extra, extra, read all about it. Taurus, this is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. Taurus, this is an oracle card reading. It's an energy reading. It is not a horoscope. So this will apply for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Mercury, wherever Taurus energy influences your life. That could be even dealing with a Taurus outside of yourself, right? Um, this is the Oracle card spread. There's always an extended, um, a full tarot card spread in the link below. It will lead you to the extended reading, which is a choice, but I do hope you join me. Um, that articulates and gets into specifics and personalizes this energy reading much more and also includes a full romance reading as well. Now, every single day I upload, every single week, I, a week, <laughs> I upload a new Taurus specific week ahead. So if you want it fresh off the press, please help the channel grow by subscribing to the channel and ringing that bell so that you know when I upload all your favorite content and you'll get notified immediately, including when I go live, which by the way is every Friday on YouTube and every other week I do a live for a new moon or a full moon. So you might want to join those too. All right, Taurus, let's go. Taurus, this is Taurus energy. I want Taurus energy, Taurus, 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 Taurus coming toward me so the cards know where we stand. What is this Taurus energy? Taurus, 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 Taurus. Crowning your energy, trust in divine detours. This, this is something that's coming up that you could not have predicted. Maybe lots of detours in your life that have been coming up lately that you could not have predicted. Actually getting so used to not being able to predict what's coming next, you stopped trying. But there's definitely been a big change, a huge, a huge unexpected turn that is... Asking you to have faith in it. Asking you to trust that the divine is guiding you in the direction that you needed to go. Something um, very different than what you had expected. Could be a life path. Could be a partnership. There's something that has changed abruptly. So that's what it would be. Whatever's changed abruptly in your life, that's what we're talking about here. That's what's crowning your, ener your energy uh, this week. So what that means is it's the it's the foremost most uh it's the foremost um uh it's the foremost uh, aspect of what you're dealing with in your life right now is this uh sudden redirection uh, this is uh sagittarius energy so definitely chaos chaotic energy or loving the chaos being able to flourish in the chaos and the way that you do that is by going with the flow and not expecting too much. You think in the now, you think in the current, and the future is something that you rush toward, but don't try to determine. It's something that you allow to unfold before you. This could also be um, um, something to do with um, mm, the World Wide Web. That When that sign is behind the animal spirits, this could be connecting or networking or getting information or contact from people that you didn't expect. Um, so it could have to be something with communications, especially if the internet sort. Um, unexpected communications coming in. Interesting. Okay, then we had this, this energy pop out. Um, uh, know your worth, so a sense of um, diminished sense of self, a sense of trying to fit in or trying to be something that we can't or can't be, and feeling diminished like we're not shining, like we're not like we're not being seen. Um, a sense of um, uh, trying to cover up your stink or um, pretend like it does not exist or feeling like you stink and feeling like you don't matter, feeling basically ignored almost. That sense of, of feeling um, like you're not as important as you want to be. You're not front and center. Um, also a sense of maybe hiding something, keeping the truth of something or something was kept from you. So it could very well be a truth was hidden from you it was made to look prettier than it was it was made to look like less of a threat than it was and now all of a sudden there is it's some it's it's like it's 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 coming out or there's communications that sort of make you uh privy to information that shed new light on it or um maybe even communications that make you feel diminished make you feel lessened or disheartened in some way hmm 
um, claim your independence. Something, uh, the energy of one plus three is four. So fall, landing on your feet. So you will land on your feet from this Taurus, but it will make you want to get away and be on your own. It will make you feel like, wow, I'm, I'm maybe done trusting people or trust, uh, done partnering with people, or I want to be away at a distance right now. This is taking back your sense of self, take, taking back the control of yourself, taking your space too. Like cats remain very aloof, very distant. So you could be looking at this from afar. This could be a situation or a circumstance that's distance from you, that's, that's at a distance from you, but making you feel very disheartened as you watch it unfold. Or it has happened to you and you now are claiming your distance because you don't wanna be a part of the, the BS. Um, uh, this is, uh, no, no, I want to take it from the bottom. Um, embrace the in-between. Two plus six is eight. So destiny, finding a way to economize and find balance through economy by not ex expecting the most of anything, by basically using the resources that you have to make the most out of what you're going through. Embracing this ambiguous time, embracing this time, of even, even embracing the disappointments and the truths that are coming out that you don't want that you, that you didn't want to know, but simultaneously finding a way to stick together. And like, because flamingos stick together, that's how they defend themselves with this beautiful pink energy. It's like using this, this attractiveness to like stick together and, and make themselves look much larger by, by forming a whole pink mass. And, um, de and in doing so, sort of deterring predators from them. Also, uh, economically shifting weight, only using one leg at a time to, uh, to, to sort of maintain, um, maintain their energy. Um, this is you embracing all of those things. And it's, it's probably your practical side kicking in and really like making the most out of the situation and, and those around you, uh, flocking together, staying close to family. Um, it could very well be, um, um, also because this is your central energy, distancing yourself from friends outside of the family or people outside of the family that have made you, that have sort of revealed themselves as not as harmonious or, um, trustworthy or reliable as they first presented themselves as, uh, yeah, this is a little bit of disappointment, sort of watching in disappointment and then turning away from that disappointment and just uh, taking stock in what you have. Um, embrace the in-between. Yeah, this is Libra energy, very beautiful energy, a very Venetian energy uh, partnership, but, but it's closed partnership. It's very specific partnership. It's like almost like whittling away at your friend space. It's like, it's like, um, uh, whittling away at your connections, just, um, um, uh, siphoning them down to only the most important ones. Uh, this is sweet results await. So working very hard on something, um, make, keeping yourself busy, busy like a bee, um, because uh, busy itself helps to maintain your mentality and helps to make you feel strong and productive. And it's actually uh, producing quite a bit of honey. Just the honey in the busyness is, is, is helping you, uh, um, your life be a little bit sweeter, but ultimately this will lead to more abundance for you, a stronger sense of self because this is Leo energy. Um, but this is seven, so creation, your creating something you're working on something there will be abundance that's coming from this remember the bee or the sweetness of the honey is something the bee has to work very hard for um lazy bees don't yield honey so if you have this this card this bee energy in your life it's continue to be busy because it will continue it will reap beautiful energy for you it will it will you will reap great deal of benefit from it and here's your energy, completion, being bold, fulfillment. This is uh, very powerful. It's almost like the 10 of pentacles, if you think about it, um, because this is the universe is providing or you're providing for yourself. You have everything that you need. The abundance is all around you. You have everything that you need inside of you, outside of you. You are creating your own abundance and maybe even your own financial. This is having 3D resources. So you have plenty. Um, you are generating 
them in a time when maybe other people are not. Um, and then this and that are true. Being playful, remaining lively, remaining on the surface, remaining in the shallows just to jump through the waves, making sure that you take on that very playful energy and try not to take anything too personally or seriously, most especially after you've experienced this disappointment recently, distancing yourself from that, maybe even distancing, like I said, keeping people at a distance that cause drama in your life is is helping you a great deal it's helping you stay afloat and it's also a very intelligent decision remember dolphins are extremely playful they're extremely fun loving but they're also extremely intelligent and one can just uh, like one can just extrapolate um 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 that um no 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 i'm sorry one can infer that um, this playfulness and this jovility is because they're so intelligent. You know what I'm saying? It's 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 a it's a strategy to enjoy life and 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 not let it bog them down. But also, um, it seems here you have plenty of resources to get you through. So uh, you're able to play. You're able to be happy. You're able to feel some sort of abundance around you. Or you're playing with the kids more. You're becoming more like. Uh, it's almost like you're becoming more playful. You're becoming more childlike. Uh, and then we have set healthy boundaries. Um, once again, making a decision to keep people out that don't belong in your life. But this is heavy, almost unbalanced Cancerian energy where the boundaries are so high or so defensive, they start to weigh you down. So yes, you're dealing with a lot of weight here, Taurus. You're carrying a lot of weight. Maybe you want liberation and freedom from the weight that you're carrying because this is an energy of feeling extremely burdened, uh, maybe burdened by the boundaries set around you right now, burdened by the restrictions. That could be as well. But this is an energy that's grounding you. You may, um, hold on, let me clarify, please. Set healthy boundaries. Mm. Um, so this card ultimately came out in reverse. Now is a lucky time. Um, this is a time to basically, um, may, um, defend your resources, wear your condoms, like make sure that you don't reproduce. This is not being necessarily able to multiply your abundance, maybe being extremely protective of your family, setting those boundaries really high around your family or feeling extremely burdened, being surrounded by or, or not, not surrounded by your family. Um, nine plus four is 13, four. Now is a lucky time. Restrictions. That's what this is. This is restrictions. Pretty much, pretty much putting a lot of restrictions on yourself and finding abundance in those restrictions, finding prosperity or um, maintaining your resources by putting those really strict restrictions around yourself and maybe even around your family. Uh, there are a little bit burdensome though, so I would, I, I would just warn against it. You may not feel it right now. You may not feel the tightness or the restriction, but it's it's there. Uh, be playful. Um, here it is. But it came out upside down, so this is five plus one, the energy of six. Uh, you're, you're not. You're taking things. To me, this grounding energy is taking things extremely seriously. Um, not like, 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 um, being extremely protective and, and, and taking extreme emergency precautions. Um, maybe because you learned the hard way, um, seeing some sort of disappointing behavior or actions. I almost feel maybe you even getting a little bit too political or feeling too close or too responsible or too angry in some ways, uh, upset, frustrated. In other words, to make up for what you don't see on the outside or the disappointments that you see on the outside, it's like you're super imposing restrictions on yourself um, um, uh, which is weird because you have enough abundance and you have the ability to actually enjoy yourself and love life right now but you're self-imposing these, re these restrictions you're, these are self-imposed restrictions and not that you don't have but it's almost like you don't want to use up uh, being extremely cautious 
I think it has something to do with um, this revelation. Let me flip the camera. Hold on. This is interesting because what it does is it set up a, set up a situation, a, a, a switch, a quick change, a change in your perception or your decision-making processes in reaction to something that really disappointed you. Open it, open to infinite possibilities. No, this is you shutting down, closing up shop, or um, or uh, seeing something that was really unimpressive to you. I know your worth. This is something that diminished you, something that disappointed you, something that was pretending to be something that it wasn't. Noticing it, observing it. Now, understand it seems like you landed on your feet it seems like you landed um uh like like i said cats always land on their feet uh and you are stable but simultaneously now you are extremely protective and being ex like like exacting sort of um extreme economy when it comes to whatever was whatever was the focus of this detour now what was the focus of this detour it could be public recognition it could be abundance it could be it, it was something that was very something something that you had high hopes for let's put it this way something that you trusted and had a lot of faith in and saw um uh, had a lot of maybe even love for not necessarily romantic love but there is a sense of now distancing distancing yourself from it and putting all your freaking resources on lockdown because you see the seediness or the huge disappointment that it yielded you so i'm going to get a little bit deeper into that i'm going to get way deeper into that energy and answer some questions that i need answers because I'm curious Taurus and hopefully you'll come along with me follow me over there for the extended reading and of course that will include your romantic reading too really interesting energy juicy stuff let's get into it